Welcome back to another video on Star Force 66. Today, I wanted to discuss what Ewan McGregor said about the Star Wars prequels. Um, he mentioned that uh, filming the Star Wars prequels could be tedious. I don't want to be rude, but it's not Shakespeare. That was the main title of this article. So, he reassured fans that his upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, Star Wars spinoff show will be more of a realistic touch than the prequels were which he says uh, found diff he was it was difficult to film because of George Lucas's use of CGI and blue screens, which I can 100% agree that it is a lot more difficult to film in an environment that you're trying to think of in your mind and actually seeing it, because if you can actually see it, you're experiencing it, you are pretending like you can actually be there. But however, if you're in a blue screen, it's kind of hard to think in your mind while also remembering the words, acting and all that, which I agree. And that's why I think uh, these acting performances is probably going to be uh, much better, even though he did a great job in the prequels. I really enjoyed it. Um, it goes on to say that uh, which the, the entire prequel trilogy were written and directed by George Lucas, of course, um, and inspired intense backlash from fans who criticized the film's storylines, dialogue, and the introduction of Jar Jar Binks, which, yes, they did. Uh, he said George loves technology and love loves pushing in, into that realm, which if he, he was a director nowadays, it would be amazing what he could do. He wanted more and more control over what we see in the background, which is that's pretty interesting because you don't the a movie is not just what's happening you have to think about what is in the background what is, the surrounding is what your environment is, is around and after three or four months of doing that and working with george lucas he said it just gets really tedious especially when the scenes are i don't want to be rude but it's not shakespeare okay so i, I guess even ewan mcgregor agree uh thinks that the prequels scenes were not 100% capable in the, I don't know how to word this either. There's not something to dig into, into the, lot, the dialogue that can satisfy you when there's no environment there. Exactly. It was quite hard to do. Now, however, with the Kenobi show, I think it's going to be a lot easier because you're going to be actually in the places instead of just having this one studio that you're surrounded by the blue, pe blue screen and people around. He said it was difficult and the prequel uh, films were not well received by fans, but he's still eager to return to the Star Wars universe, which I'm definitely excited for that. He is too. And he also says he just turned 50, which uh, I'm looking at a picture of him. He does not look 50 to me. It looks more like 30. Um, he continued to say that there would be no issues with excessive blue screens or CGI on the production of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, which is currently slated for 2022. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is what I find really interesting. If you're in a desert, you're standing in the middle of a desert. You are experiencing. Maybe you're hot. Maybe you're maybe you're hot. Maybe you're sweating. If you're in the snow, you're surrounded by snow. You have lots of clothes on. You're thinking, "Hey, what's going to happen now?" And if you're in a cockpit of a of a starfighter, you're in space. It's going to feel so much more real, McGregor said. And when it's more real, the acting is easier, and you can perform better. In the past, George Lucas has discussed a backlash against prequel films, and he's always maintained that the films were created to his specific vision. Uh, back in 2002, following the release of uh, Attack of the Clones, George Lucas told The Guardian that the dialogue was not a priority of the films. I did not know this. Okay, so I clicked on that. It says, George Lucas, no stars is not supposed to be funny. Hmm. Okay, let's see what this has to say. With a beneficent wave of his hand, George Lucas declines to make a fuss. It is his 58th birthday. Oh, wow. So if, it, if this article came out on its 58th birthday, that means it would, George Lucas must, uh, he's like 76 now, so about 20 years ago. And he's in a joyless hotel suite talking about work, okay? Let's see here. If there is a tinge of defenseness in his sunny tone, it is because of the latest installment of Star Wars will inevitably be hammered for failing to live up to its 20-year predecessors. Such was the fate of The Phantom Menace, and although this is a better film, it will be received by many Star Wars purists as laughable. Hmm. There is one scene in which Anakin Skywalker thrashes Campley about it asleep, crying no 
had his nightmares. I think that was a very poetic scene. Like, Luke, it is such a terrible cliche that one assumes it was put in for value. It certainly had the audience in hysterics when I saw it. Lucas doesn't smile. It's not, oh, this is what he says. It's not deliberately camp. I made the film in a 1930s style. It's based on a Saturday matinee serial from the 1930s, so the acting style is very 30s, very theatrical, theatrical, very old-fashioned. Method acting came in the 1950s, and it is very predominant today. I prefer to use the old style. People today, people today take it different ways, depending on the sophistication. Okay. So that's something that I knew a little bit about, but I didn't know George Lucas made. I'm going to make a separate video talking more into this, so I'm probably going to end it for now. But George Lucas made the prequel tri trilogy in a way, a 1930s way. So I'm going to have a more revolve in the next video. We're going to talk about a little bit of that, but I just wanted to talk about for this one about uh, what Ewan McGregor. I can't wait to see his performance in the Kenobi show. The act is going to be a lot better, in uh, my opinion. It was amazing, so I can't believe the potential is so high for the Kenobi show. is going to be number one on the charts when it comes out. I 100% believe that. I'm very excited for it, and uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. So, and remember, the Force will be with you always.